I was watching the endless rain, Saturday, Sunday, and now a third day of gray drizzle continued as I found my way to work on a cold, damp Monday morning. Folks came in telling stories of swollen creeks and flooded roads as the earth could no longer soak in the deluge. There would probably be ruined crops of some kind and delays for work that stood idle because the angry clouds chased away any attempt at building or repairing. And children who anticipated a glorious week of spring break vacation would now be huddled in front of TVs, lost in their virtual world where rain doesn't matter. I thought of our reaction to rain today and how different it was to that of men in Noah's day. How, for many decades after the great flood, they must have watched the heavens nervously each time it rained, hoping God's anger was not unleashed against them again. And then, with the end of rain, a sigh of relief at the rainbow's appearance. We no longer fear the rain because we've learned that God's promises are true. In life, as well as in the seasons, a little rain must fall. But eventually, the sun does shine, and there is a rainbow waiting for all.